Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Master Theorem. Master Theorem is one of the most important theorem for finding the time complexity of recurrence relations. It is a shorthand way to find out the time complexity of a given recurrence relation using Master Theorem. In the previous three videos, how to solve the recurrence relation using master theorem for finding time complexity. Okay, so in the last three videos, we have to solve three example problems. Now, in this video, we have to solve another example problem on master theorem for finding the time complexity of given recurrence relation. Okay. So, this is the example 4. Solve the following recurrence relation using master theorem. P of n is equal to root 2 into P of n by 2 plus log n. Okay. This is the given recurrence relation. This given recurrence relation is compared with the standard recurrence relation in master theorem. After comparing this recurrence relation, what are the values of A, B, P and K values? Here, A value is root 2, B value is 2, here n power K, here n power K is not there, so then K value is equal to 0, log power P into n, here log power p into n, here p value is equal to 1. Okay. After finding these four values, now we have to check the relation between a and b power k. Because, so based on the relation between a and b power k, we have to check whether case 1 is satisfied or case 2 is satisfied or case 3 is satisfied. Which case we have to use? It depends on the relation between a and b power k. Okay. So, now a is equal to root 2. b power k is equal to 2 power k value is 0. 2 power 0 is equal to 1. So, a value is root 2. b power k is equal to 1. Now, what is the relation between these Three, these two values a and b power k here a value is root 2 greater than b power k so b power k is equal to 2 power 0 so that is 1 so root 2 greater than 1 what is the root 2 value 1.414 1.414 greater than 1 so condition is true so here we get the relation a greater than b power k so, a greater than b power k satisfies the case 1. Okay. In that case 1, if a greater than b power k, then time complexity t of n is equal to theta of n log b power k. Now, in that case 1, t of n is equal to theta of n log b power k. Theta of n power log b value is 2, a value is root 2 b value is 2, a value is root 2. Now, root 2 can be written as 2 power 1 by 2, 2 power 1 by 2. Okay. Now, this half can be written as before the log. So, n power half into log 2 base 2, log 2 base 2. Here, log 2 base 2 value, how much value? So, that is 1. n power half into 1, n power half into 1. So, that is n power half. n power half can be written as theta of root n. So, therefore, time complexity is equal to theta of root n. Okay. The time complexity of this given recurrence relation is theta of root n or theta of n power 1 by 2. So, in this way, we have to calculate the time complexity of given recurrence relation by using master theorem. Okay. Next, we go for example 5. 